Hi, this is World Dane of Sanctuary and Nevermore, and you're watching The Age of Metal. Hey everyone, this is Miguel with the H Metal, and I'm here with none other than Waraldane of Sanctuary. How you doing, sir? Good. Really good. So far, so good. Well, it's been kind of like a heavy week for you guys doing a, a small tour in the uh, west, the, uh, in the west coast of the United States. It's almost over. Uh, in a balance, how was the tour? How did people re uh, receive the new Sanctuary? Uh, the response to the to the new stuff has been really, really good. Um, of course, you know, it's been quite some time since we've been around doing this, so it's kind of, it's a nice feeling to know that people are receiving the new material as well as they are, as well as, you know, obviously we play all the old songs too. All the ones everyone wants to hear, so, you know, it's going to be a good night tonight, I think. Well, that's good to hear. Now, the album is been out almost a month, a little bit more than a month. Yeah. And how has been the response of the people directly to the album? I'm not talking about the tour, I'm not talking about like people on, on general, but more about the tour itself. Well, you know, the, uh, the, the response for the new record has been really good, obviously, especially in Europe, which okay. that, that's not a real shocker. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it, it's doing well, it's selling well, and uh, yeah, it's, everything's pretty fucking groovy right now <laughs> well the album is definitely big strong and definitely really really powerful melodically speaking mm -hmm. how do you guys uh, figure to get that sound because it has a really punching kind of big sound ah, you, well yeah uh, you'd have to ask Glenn about how he came up with all those big punchy because it's mainly him okay. writing all the obviously he writes all the guitar stuff so yeah, um, yeah I'm not really sure if he did it on purpose, but he put a lot of big guitar hooks in these songs, yeah. and what it what it inspired me to do was come up with really strong, I think, melodic vocal hooks too, um, which isn't well, kind of the first two records, the first two Sanctuary records. I'm not sure if they they were melodically strong, but I kind of feel like these new songs are even more melodically strong, and you know we're older now and. I, th I think we've grown as songwriters and we've kind of, you know, expanded our vision of what the band was going to sound like. This is weird, you know, 20 years later. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, with the album out, after you record it and finish it, is, it, is there anything that you wish to include? Like, oh, well, we didn't include this, kind of like something that you I would, feel... I would, I would not change one thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would not change one thing because... If you get into that mindset, then you're like, oh, God, this part sucks. That part is not so good. Oh, that part's awesome. But, yeah, it is what it is. When you're done recording a record, it's final. So, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't change anything. Cause I'm, and I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. No, the, 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 the sound of the record, like, like I say, is punchy, strong. And uh, the video for Frozen was recorded in this kind of like a factory setting in Germany yeah. with cages, uh, you know, handling from, from, the, from the ceiling. How was the concept? How did the concept come to be for the video Frozen? Well, the, the director um, came up with the concept, but this building was a place that Hitler used to own during the war. So it was a factory? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if you want to call it a factory. We've, we, we've heard certain things later after we did the video that it might have been a little bit different than just a factory. <laughs> And I'm not really sure what those cages were for. Gotcha, gotcha. But, you know, my, after we were done doing it, I'm like, oh, we should have put, you know, a bunch of fake human heads in those cages. <laughs> that might have been where where that was going back then. I don't know. Okay. Now, your voice on the record, it sounds pristine. It doesn't change a bit from the last two records. What is the secret 
to keep to keep a, a boy's healthy, a boy's pristine during all these years? Don't drink a lot, okay. for one. Okay. Um, take care of yourself on tour. Make sure you drink a shitload of water, and make sure you get enough sleep. That's the secret. The two most important things for a singer on tour, or, or for you know whenever, is get enough sleep and drink a lot of water. Now, in the past, uh, Sanctuary have toured with Megadeth, yeah. Warlock, and Fate's Warning. You know, you know what? Here's a, a funny story. At, at Vakken this year, because we went there to do press for this record, uh -huh. and I was hanging out with Doro, okay. and we were talking about, oh, God, wouldn't it be fucking killer if we could do another tour? Um, you know, Sanctuary, Warlock, and Megadeth, you know, kind of like, you know, Blast from the Past thing. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yes, 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 that would be great. That would be awesome. And uh, since I know, I, I talk to the drummer from Megadeth all the time. I'm like, dude, talk to Dave. Talk to Dave. That would be awesome if we could do that again. Doro wants to do it. And yeah, so Which, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not going to hold my breath, but that would be pretty fucking cool. No, that would be an excellent pack. <laughs> yeah, it would. Is any bands out there, new or old, that you would like to tour with? New bands. I would love oh. to tour with Gohira. Ah, love that band. I would love to tour with, throwing this one out there, the Tea Party. I mean, they're not metal, but okay. but uh, one of my favorite bands, too, as far as rock and roll. Okay. Um, and everybody always says, you know, Dream Tour, Metallica, like that would ever happen, but it would still be cool. Well, now that the year is almost coming to an end and we are doing all these top 10, uh, um, top 10, 20, 50 albums, which albums, new albums, I mean, you have picked that and you, and you like so far of this year? Did Carcass come out this year? Yeah. Sur sur yeah. Well, that's, no, that. they did an EP that came out like almost a month ago. They, 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 I have not heard that yet. Is it good? It's really good. It's really good. I mean, is it as good as, the, as Surgical Steel? It's kind of like Because Surgical really Steel was yeah, fucking so killer. Yeah, that was that was my that was a big surprise that I did not expect that uh -huh. comeback record to be that good. Well, I kind of knew it would be because it's Carcass, but, yeah, but no, Mike Amott wasn't involved, so that's why I was like, ah, I'll see, okay. see how it sounds. But yeah, no, that, that's that's my favorite record from last year. Yeah, and this year you have anything uh, come to your desk? Hmm. Let me think. I haven't really been listening to a lot of metal lately, actually. I, sh I should probably do that. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm in writing mode right now. So when I'm in, in writing mode, we're already working on the next one. So when I'm in writing mode, I, I tend to not listen to metal just because I don't want whatever I'm coming up with to sound like my favorite band of the moment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, well, last time that we talked, we talk about the uh, that you did a tour in Brazil and you played a bunch of songs from yeah. Sanctuary yeah. and uh, Never Nevermore yeah. and even the your, your solo stuff mm -hmm. and and from then two and a half hours yeah the I set know. yeah and, and, and I'm fucking old so I, just the fact that I could do that was I made myself happy with, with that one. But it me the question: uh, Would you ever go back and do Nevermore again? Of course. I don't know who'd be in the band, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, there, there, there will be another Nevermore record. Oh, right. I can't tell you who's going to play on it, but um, you know the label's supportive of that idea, okay. obviously for whatever reasons. That, and actually, and, that's really good that you were open mind to yeah. those kind of uh, reunions. Yeah. And with that in the table, it gave me a little bit of a question, that, and I'm going to throw that down in there. Last Monday, it was announced that uh, Jeff's going to be joining Arch Enemy. What right. do you think about that? I don't know. I mean, that's great for him. Um, see what happens. Yeah. I, I, I texted with Jeff the other day, and okay. we talked about that just a little bit. So I can't really say much. Having yeah. Mike Lamont and Jeff Loomis in yeah. the same band, just well, like all, all those guitar players are cramming their panties. Two of my favorite guitar players. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, now, um, what is next for Sanctuary? Knowing the level of next year, mm -hmm. but can we say that it will be 
more than 12 records, like yeah. two more records, yeah. 10 more records? Well, I don't know about 10. I mean, you know how old we are. Um, but yeah, we've, I mean, there was two or three songs that we left off of this record that, you know, we already, already have written and we're going to start working on new songs right when we get home from this. So I don't, I don't like to sit around and do nothing yeah. when I'm at home. Gotcha. Idle hands are the tools of the devil. <laughs> what is next for a sanctuary in the level of after this tour and probably 2015? Oh, well, 2015, we're touring in Europe with Overkill. Oh, okay. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. I love, I love Overkill. Yeah. And uh, it'll be great to tour with Bobby again. Bobby's an awesome singer uh -huh. and he's a really nice person and too. It's weird because kids, kids singers are normally, you know, like, you know, uh -huh. Bobby's one of the cool ones. <laughs> I get along. I get along with him really well, and uh, that's always nice. That's good. Well, Warrell, thank you very much for taking yeah. the time to speak anyway, in here with no, us. No, I want to say one thing. For the first time ever, mm -hmm. I'm doing a solo thing in in Tel Aviv, February fifth, in Israel, in Israel okay. and doing the entire Dead Heart record. Oh, there you go. The whole. I mean. Yeah, Dead Dead Heart, front to back. From to back in Tel Aviv, Israel. Yeah. Check it out. With an Israeli death metal band. What's the name of this band? Oh boy, don't press me right now because I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the name. Well, people can go to the internet and check it out. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, obviously. Awesome so, world. And, and then that's that's going to go to Brazil too as well. Okay, so you're going to be doing Sanctuary and your solo stuff next year too? Yeah. Okay, that, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It's going to be pretty busy. And, huh? In Brazil, it's going to be with the same band that... um. That I worked with before, yeah. That tour was sick. It was great. Well, I mean, two hours and a half of stage. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I still got the lungs. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I just still got the, the fortitude and the balls to be able to do it that long. So, and it, it's that's all about taking care of yourself. Yes. You know, back in the day, when I was all fucked up on everything, mm -hmm. I never could have done that. <laughs> you get older and you get wiser. You know, w wisdom comes with age. I guess, and so you know that that's one good thing about getting older. <laughs> gotcha. Well, well, thank you very much. Definitely looking forward to Night from Santuary. Looking forward for the new new songs, and definitely looking forward, of course, for Battle Angels. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and we're doing it. Of course. I can still sing it. Maybe not exactly like I did in 1988, but you know, it's still there. Thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> thank you.